was leaking like three spots. It was like like here, here, and then up there. So I I went and got that shaped it and everything, put it on there, and then I started to bleed the brakes on this side where that block is on that other hard line on the other side. It busted while I was under here and shot fluid all the way over there. And then so I had to run town, get another hard line shape it, put it back in here, then start bleeding the brakes. Had really good pressure. And then the master cylinder gave out. And it was pushing fluid all down here. It was just puking it out. Not Gucci. So, Ordered a new master cylinder and booster, so I won't have manual brakes anymore. I have power brakes. Bro, so flip the tires around. White wall showing was, looks good. When I got the car, I was like, man, that looks so cool with some skinny white walls on there. And then when I was crawling in the car not long after I bought it, I realized it had the white walls on there. They were just flipped inside. Nice. This is the, it's gonna look good. Yeah, you already do. That one's the better one because it has the cap on it. So We're gonna cool. put these caps on them. <laughs> Not sure what they're they're what would have been on these wheels. I think these wheels are Craigers. We'll have to figure out exactly. There's no telling. Well, there should be a serial number, I think. But yeah, these caps scuffing up a little bit, painted. I'll use my Cricut and cut a new thing for the middle, and should be good to go. On those, that's gonna look so sick. Don't see a serial number anywhere or any kind of marking. So who knows what they are. But it doesn't matter, I guess. They're gonna be whatever we want them to be. So. Wheels. Some good old gonna, slots. I was gonna put two 15, 15 inch steelies on the back and then leave two 14s in the front so I can use my tires right out. Me. All right, guys. So in the comments, let us know. We're taking this roof off, the vinyl, to fix rust and junk all in here. So let us know if you think, because we're going to repaint the car at some point during all this. So all one color, or should we wrap the top with a tech, like where the wrap looks like a vinyl top? and then put the trim all back on and everything to make it look super slick. Let us know in the comments. Solid color, fake vinyl top. Comments. Yeah, we're taking the stripes off too. Yeah, the pinstripe's ugly. Ugly pinstripe, probably 80s, 90s thing done to it. Most likely 90s, I would think. Yep. That's coming off. Vinyl top's coming off for a minute. Get the rust fixed. I'm voting, I'm voting fake vinyl, fake vinyl top. That's my vote, black again. It just looks so classy with the white wall and the black vinyl. It kind of breaks up the whole car and it makes it look era correct, is what I'm gonna say. I think it looks awesome. I love the way vinyl tops look, they look so good. And but. with a wrap, you won't have to worry about it holding water again and Rusting well, out. If I got the rust fixed and had the top revinyl, like the whole top redone, no, it wouldn't. In my lifetime, it's I'm not gonna have to ever worry about that for my life. <laughs> yeah, you will. I doubt it. I, dad is. This is like. How old is Dad? This car came out a year before Dad. You're not. You're only 21. So. I mean, unless you sell the car and you never see it again, this will rust again in your lifetime. If it's yeah, sat here for 50 whatever years and it's rusted. I'm an old man. Yeah? And, and then you pass it on to some kid who's going to have to refix it all again? Well, it's rusty or not, I'm still going to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, rap. I'm telling you, rap. Rap. Rap, rap, rap. Had to glue that back on. He did. All right, boys, we're going to try and get a lot today done today on this, on my car. 
And when we try and get the, as you can see, I took the master cylinder out. I got a new master cylinder and a booster to put back in it. This was the old master cylinder that went to crap. No surprise. And here's the new one. Brand new. And it wasn't a power brake car, it was a manual brake car. So I went ahead and got a booster to turn it into a power brake car. And it's brand new too. So shiny. But yeah, I'm going to try and get that all in today. I want to get it back going as fast as I can. Because I miss it. Well, boys. Finally, put it in. It's literally the end of the day. I spent all day fighting with this thing. It didn't want to work. Nothing ever want. Nothing wanted to measure it up right. <sighs> but it's finally in. Took forever to bleed the master cylinder. Oh, uh, go inside. Ouch. There's our bolts up, all that didn't want to line up or nothing. I don't know what the deal was with it, but it's on there now, so good enough. But on the bright side, I've got my front Y balls flipped out, so that's looking pretty cool. I think, I think it looks good like that. Alright guys, so hey, it's another day. Uh, my brother's not here right now, but I'm just going to explain what happened. It's still leaking on the drums, so he ordered a disc brake kit. And he's going to be putting discs on the front, so these 14s will not work. So he's, he's going to find another set of wheels, so the whole plan with those caps and these white walls are out the window now. Uh, we don't know exactly what wheels he's going to do yet, but uh, that'll be in another video once we get that, once we get the disc brake kit in and he figures out what's he, what he wants to do. But until then, that's the end of this video. I uh, appreciate you guys for watching and have a good one.